Take a look at this nice flip card animation I have here. So this part of the card says, do you know who Decode is? Click for answer. When you click for it, you see the card flips to the back. And here you can see my very handsome face. <laughs> and if you click the card again, it flips back to the front. This is built with just HTML and CSS and like 2% of JavaScript. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I built this. You're going to learn a couple of CSS tips. So get your seat belt ready. So we'll be starting with this on the right. Here we have, do you know who the code is? This is the front. Then we have this image and this is the code for it. We have our style sheet, which are I'll show you in a second but then here we have the div with the class of card and an id of card so this is a div with the class of front and here we have the do you know who decode is click for answer which is this one here and then here we have a div with the class of back and in this back here we have the image and we have the he simplifies coding which is this here so what we're going to do is we're going to have the front and the back positioned in the card before we do the flipping but just to show you the two percent javascript that i mentioned this is the javascript we have here so we get our card using document.get element by ID and all we are doing here is listening to the click event and when the event is triggered on this card we add a class of active and if you click the card again we remove the class of active so this is what toggle does toggle would add the active class remove the active class and so on now this is the CSS here and this is the basic CSS we have here the card has a width of 200 pixels high 300 pixels it has a position of relative border of one pixel solid red we apply a transition of one second on the transform and then for the card front here we have some flex css just to have this text positioned like this and for the card back we have width height 100 percent then this is the image here we apply a grayscale filter i like using grayscales sometimes if i remove the grayscale you can see i look even more handsome but i'm going to put the grayscale back and then for the p we have this. I'm going to show you what these two lines does in a second. The front is already positioned in the card, but I also want to position the back in the card. I'm going to have a position absolute top zero left zero. And now this back is positioned in the card just where I want it, but you can see it's also covering the front, but we're going to fix that. I also want to position this text below here. So for this P here, this will also have a position of absolute bottom of zero left of zero if we come here you can now see the text is here now by applying a position absolute this is going to respect the closest ancestor that has a position of relative and since the card has a position of relative here that means we can use this absolute to control this text in the card if you want to learn more about position relative absolute fixed and the rest i have a simplified video on it i'll link it in the video description for you to check it out now coming here you can see we use this color mix and we mix a white and transparent this allows us to create transparent colors easily if i make this transparent 60 percent you see that we have more transparent here and also the backdrop filter this allows you to to apply a filter to the back of an element so in this case we're applying a blur to the back of the text element if i comment this out you can see we have our transparent white and there is nothing fancy happening at the back but i'm going to apply this blur and i'm going to change this to let's keep it at 20 percent so we have that backdrop filter blur at the back with a bit of transparency now that we have this let's now go to the front and apply a z index of one so that the front would be above the back but currently that is not happening because the front is not positioned but if we make this position absolute and we also do top zero left zero now our z index is applied this is now above the back now what we're going to do is that when the card has an active class and if you remember from our javascript the active class is added when you click the card so once the card has an active class we're going to do a transform and in this transform we're going to say rotate y 180 degrees so if we come here now and we click this you can see it rotates 180 degrees on the y axis to make this rotate even nicer we can add a perspective of let's just say 300 pixels so now if we try to rotate you can see that this rotate has some form of perspective 
perspective to it. Let me remove this perspective again so you can see the difference. So you can see this just rotates on the same leg. You cannot really see any form of 3D happening here. But putting the perspective back, you can now see some form of 3D. Now the next thing we want to do is that this card front, we're going to use back face visibility and we're going to have hidden. For this to work, we're going to need transform style preserve 3D. Now I'm going to explain what back face visibility does. Let me comment these two parts. When we rotate this on the Y axis, you can see that the card rotates and then you, you can see the back of the card, which is the mirrored version. Now when we put on this back face visibility hidden, what you're trying to say is that the back of the card should be hidden. So now if you come here and we rotate this, oh, this doesn't. Oh no, no, no. The preserve 3D shouldn't be on the front. We want to preserve the 3D on the card itself. Okay. This should work now. Fingers crossed. Great. So what you notice here now is that we cannot see the back of the front. We cannot see the back face of the front anymore. And now we are seeing this back element. But what you also notice is that this back element is mirrored. So what we're going to do is that we're going to come to this back and then we're going to say transform, rotate Y, and then we have 180 degrees. So once you come here and you click on this, the card turns, you cannot see the back of the front. So now you can see the back element. So just to show you what this rotate Y does, if I come to this card front and let's say I put a display of none, so the front is not showing, only the back is showing. You can see that our transform rotate Y rotates this the other way. But the reason why we're rotating this the other way is for when the card flips. So if I come here now and I remove this display of none, click on this, the card flips. And because this is rotated on the Y axis by 180 degrees by default, which is the mirrored version, when the card flips, we now get to see the version that we actually want. So if you click on this, the active card is removed. We have this by default and you click on this. This now shows. I hope you enjoyed this demo and you learned one or two CSS tips from this. Let me know in the comments below what you learned from this video. And if you'd love to see the code for this demo, I have it on my website decode.com slash CSS demos or you can scan the QR code currently on the screen. Please give this video a like, share with others and subscribe for more CSS demo tutorials like this.